I'm looking forward to my first Pan Am flight experience. Welcome, Welcome aboard. aboard. We are in our final stages of boarding for you. Sam, show you're sitting in 4C. But I'm a captain. The captain doesn't need a boarding pass. A completely replicated version of a Pan Am 747-200. This is what people do back in the 70s flying here. Duty free, no taxes. And suddenly the mustache came. <laughs> Welcome back. I always wonder what's flying Pan Am like. 50 years later, we're still able to fly. There is a Pan Am experience at Los Angeles here. Let's check it out, guys. Welcome to the Pan Am experience. to found United, my childhood favorite. Look at this uniform here. It's beautiful uniform. Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Brings back my childhood memories here at United. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in our final stages of boarding flight 445 to Miami. We are boarding the L1011 today. I'm here to check in my flight tonight. Okay, may we have your last name, please? Tree, Sam Tree. Tree. Okay, let me find your boarding pass. Okay. Actually, I was able to find a seat for you in first class, so we did find a boarding wow. pass for you. Let me validate that first for you. There you go. You gonna stamp it? Yeah, we'll stamp it for you. We'll make it official. There you go. Uh, Mr. Sam Choi, you're sitting in 4C. It's the best seat in the house. We made sure it's clear for you. So it's fantastic. I'm really delighted to give you the boarding pass. And it's you're going to have an amazing time with us. We're looking well, thank forward. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so that. much. Enjoy. I'm flying Pan Am for the first time in my life. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is definitely not an ordinary flight. I'm looking forward to my first Pan Am flight experience. Hi, my name is Anthony Todd, and I'd like to welcome you to the Pan Am experience. We're about to board a vintage Pan Am 747, restored from the 1970s, and replicate what it was like to fly Pan Am back in the era. Come aboard and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. You're now standing in a completely replicated version of a Pan Am 747-200 back in the 1970s. This is actually my favorite zone of the 747, and we've actually restored every single thing in this airplane to look exactly like it did on Pan Am back in the era. But even the seat fabric has been replicated to look exactly like how Pan Am's first class seat fabric looked. And the curtains, the wallpapers, even the wallpaper on the sidewall panels, all restored to look exactly like Pan Am back in the era. We're now in what Pan Am referred to as clipper class, and a lot of people don't realize it, but it was actually the very first version of business class that existed. Clipper class came in a lot of different forms, and the era that I chose to replicate was actually the 80s. And so this seat fabric, this light blue with these nickel-sized globes were meant to reflect the sun and the moon eclipse. And I love, again, how they put thought into even the seat fabric on Pan Am. These were my favorite headrests of the time period too, and so I replicated all these to look just like it did when I was a kid. Let's go up the winding staircase on the 747. This was actually exclusively for the people who bought tickets in the first class cabin. And so Pan Am used this upper deck as a lounge. Just after takeoff, the cabin crew would invite any interested passenger seated in the first class cabin to come up here to the upper deck lounge. And drinks were served up here, passengers could smoke and play cards, but about an hour and a half into the flight, this would actually turn into a dining room. And so first class passengers on Pan Am actually had a choice to dine either downstairs in the nose or up here in the upper deck. And it always worked out because some passengers just wanted to stay downstairs and others wanted to be up here in the social environment. 
And so they would open up these tables and literally lay down white table linen and china and serve a five course gourmet meal. And that's what we're gonna replicate tonight. The experience of what it was like to fly on this magnificent airline known as Pan Am right here at the Pan Am Experience. To the left. But I'm a captain. A captain doesn't need a boarding pass. I can sit anywhere I want, right? <laughs> Tremendous luck tonight. I have a beautiful young lady uh, sitting next to me. So uh, they gave Captain the best seat. On behalf of myself and the entire crew, we would like to welcome you on board this Pan Am 747 Jet Clipper. All of your carry-on items should be securely stowed underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bins, leaving the aisles clear at all times. We will show you how to fasten a seat belt. Take the metal end and insert it into the buckle. Tighten by pulling on the strap. To unlatch the seatbelt, simply lift the buckle. Unless we have an earthquake tonight, you shouldn't expect any movement of the aircraft, so your seatbelt isn't really that necessary. In the event of one of our stewardesses spills water on you, or you personally drink too much, and having an inflatable vest around your neck seems like a good solution, this is how you would wear it. Despite all of that, the life vest is pretty much useless here because there is no reason any of you will actually need to float in this airplane. As your Pan Am experience begins, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the hospitality and service in traditional Pan Am style. Oh my god, this is like the original Pan Am. <laughs> this is, snacks been there for 50 old. years. They're new. They're not that old. <laughs> Cocktail menu. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, can I interest anyone in some light reading? We have People magazine. If anyone's interested, yeah. Oh, you, we have a taker. All right. I wonder what's going to happen in Moscow. <laughs> Whoever. Who, who, who. USSR, right? Uh, Sam, are you offer your cigarette tonight? Usually I don't smoke, but... Well, this is more of a Hollywood cigarette. Hollywood cigarette. Yeah, I think you'll find it much to your liking. <laughs> This is what people do back in the 70s flying here in the smoking row. Enjoy a fine cigar and a cocktail. Would you care for a hotel? Thank you. Hotel for you? Is this the menu today? Of course. Wow. For our first course, uh, we have a selection of seared Mayan prawns with cocktail sauce, as well as a buffalo mozzarella with a pesto glaze. Followed by the classic Chateaubriand, carved table side on the trolley uh, with seasonal vegetables. Moving on to our cheese and fruit course, where we have a Danish brie, a blue and a camembert. Followed by a wonderful dessert course and dessert liqueurs, of course. Many dessert liqueurs. Look at this glass here. It's so Pan-American, isn't it? It has Pan-American logo everywhere. Cheers, everybody. And now it's the caviar portion of our upper deck service. Amazing with a shot of vodka as well. Crazy salad with a pesto and a lemon wedge or a prawn cocktail with cocktail sauce. Enjoy. Thank you. When one of our clients comes in to really taste the Chateaubriand with what wine? In 1974, a private collection, a reserve from Napa Valley. This is Georges de la Tour. It's one of the best wine in the world. And he loves our Chateaubriand and he brought his own wine with him. It's an awesome idea.
dinner is served. <laughs> center is going to be a little bit more rare and it's going to be a little bit more well done. I prefer center. Center cut? All right. And are all the vegetables okay for you? Green beans, carrots, and yep, potatoes? Yeah, all good. And would you care for both horseradish and chateau sauce? Uh, what sauce do you have? This is a red wine reduction and then we have horseradish. Okay, what's the IFE on the 70s play like this? I can tell you Chateaubriand eating a huge meal. That is the IFE. There's no individual screens at that time. I like the Chateaubriand here because it's cooked exactly the way it is. Rare and it also has the more well done on the end. So you have a choice which is very nice. So what are the last courses here? We have blue cheese, we have sharp cheddar, and we have brie with dried pears and prune seeds. That's a lot of fruit and cheese. That is beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. This is the new trend after Pan Am experience, after the main course, after Chateaubriand. It's suddenly the mustache game. <laughs> Chocolate cake. What a service here, ending with dessert and all the wine, tea, coffee, and all the stewardess in the retro uniform here. You gotta tell me which airline retro uniform you like the most. Well, after three hours of Pan Am experience, I gotta tell you, this is the greatest airline experience I ever had, and I have not even take off yet. <laughs>